Hello adventurers, welcome to the Friday Fancy Playlist. My name is Adam and in this episode we are talking about Appointment with Fear. Now Appointment with Fear is a great book. Um, it was released in 1985, it's book number 17 in the series and it was written by Steve Jackson. The uh, the cover illustration, which looks pretty almost lifelike, you know, was done by a guy called Brian Boland. And all the interior artwork, and I'm very sorry if I get your name wrong, uh, dude, is Declan Considine. Considine. Um, the interior artwork is is just as you know, it it's kind of like a comic book the way it's written, the way it's drawn. Sorry um the artwork inside it's it's really interestingly done um it's it's a bit basic you know it's there's not like loads of detail but it does what it does and it, it, it i say it's illustrated much like a comic book now the story is much like a comic book and this is the again steve jackson i'm hand, hats off to you mate you are a fabulous writer and i wish that you'd written more for the series because all of your books bring something fresh and new to the series it's like you know a lot of these stories the uh, fight and fantasy stories can seem very the same where you're the hero you've got to go kill the baddie and it's your quest to do it and that's pretty much the story from many of the books but steve jackson always puts in a new fresh element to it to make it different so we had magic in the citadel of chaos in the creature of havoc uh, which is a book i believe coming up um you know, you are a, the cre a creature that you don't know who you are. Um, you know, there, there's so many um, different things that he brings into each of his books. House of Hell was great because, um, you know, that was it was pretty much set on Earth. And, you know, I think that was probably his most basic story, you know. But this one, I'll tell you, let's read the cover, the inside bit, because it is absolutely amazing. So it says, tough, courageous, incorruptible champion of law and order. You are the Silver Crusader. Using your superpowers to protect the innocent citizens of teeming Titan City from the evil machinists of a host of supervillains. Arch villain of them all is the Titanium Cyborg, head of the notorious Fear Organization. Terrorism, violence, kidnapping and corruption. Nothing is too evil for fear. So when news leaks out of a secret meeting of fear, heads here in Titan City. Your mission is clear to discover the location of the meeting, capture the titanium cyborg and his cohorts and bring them to justice. So appointment with fear, you're basically a superhero. OK, you're like the caped crusader and you've got these special powers. And I do believe you get to choose which special powers you get to use. And again, he's put a system in really where you can't really cheat, you know? And you basically, you have to go along and solve crimes, you know? And solve, um, you know, the, but without revealing your secret identity. As soon, if you reveal your secret identity, the book is over and that's how I died. I didn't realize, I was like, well, I didn't think this would kill me, but book was over because somebody found out my secret identity so you've not only got to protect your secret identity but you've also got to discover this this puzzle the, you know find who at the end of the uh the story so it's not really a villain that you're going to uh face off with it's more of a person you've got to find um it's a you're a detective it's like a a classic 1950s noir you know and or 1930s sorry noir um it's a really fun interesting book i can't wait to go back to it because as i say i died about halfway through so i definitely will be returning to this one it's uh it's great i do believe it made the top 10 um double check my facts on that if please but um leave your comments below to in the description below um and tell me what you thought of this book you know i mean <laughs> It's just fun. It's just awesome, really. Trust me, it's great. Okay, um, so that's it for this episode. Uh, and I'll see you uh, next week, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.